One. You're a dance student, aren't you, Ella? What kind of dance do you study, and why? I'm training as a ballet dancer, but I also study music. I love the movement of dance combined with the music. When a ballet is performed, the music plays such an important role. Some of the great classical composers wrote wonderful music just for dance. What kind of dance career do you hope to have in the future? I would like to work in a small modern company where new combinations of dance and music are created, and I would like to choreograph ballets as well as perform them. Two. Josh, you were a student at art college. What are you studying? College is great for trying out all forms of drawing, painting, and design. But two areas particularly interest me, and they are closely linked. Firstly, I love carving sculptures out of wood. It's a very traditional skill, but you can create amazing things. I'm also fascinated by 3D modelling, where you create 3D models either with computer software or in real life. And how can you use these skills in a future career? 3D modelling is used in many professions, in architecture and science, for example. But I would like to work in the movies. It's used all the time for animation and special effects. That would be really exciting. Three, Mandy, you study music at university. What exactly? My specialised subject is singing. I study opera and operatic composers mainly, but we also look at other areas of singing, traditional folk music and tribal singing. Singing is seen as the oldest art form, and I also sing, of course. What sort of singing do you do? I sing in two choirs: a huge church choir and a small jazz choir. And I also sing in the evenings at a restaurant near the university, where I'm very well paid. It helps me pay my university fees, and it's good practice for me. What would you like to do in the future? I don't mind, as long as it's some form of singing. One day, I'd also like to compose my own songs.